Have you ever been scared? Truly scared. And I mean terrified out of your mind. Imagine being asleep in your home. Your family's happy, safe, right? At 3 a.m., your front doors burst open. You hear gunshots. You hear footsteps coming towards your door. You run to the hallway and see your grandmother on the floor. A man takes a wooden club and smashes your grandmother in the skull. Her blood and brains are splattered everywhere. He killed her. He rapes her dead corpse in front of you while his friends watch. Once done, his friends begin eating her flesh. And once upon a time, your grandmother was happy and healthy. Now she doesn't have an ounce of dignity. You're so terrified, you can't even scream. More men appear. They grab you, your parents, your kids, your brothers and your sisters. Everyone in your family is beaten so badly they can't even move. A man takes an electric prod and rams it up your brother's rectum and electrocutes him to death. He then cuts off his legs, pours barbecue sauce on them and begins eating his flesh. You're dragged by chains into a truck. It's filled with other members of your family and your neighbors. No one can talk. Everyone is terrified. The truck moves and begins driving. It's freezing cold outside. A lot of the others around you are dying from the cold and from starvation. Days later, you arrive at a warehouse in the middle of nowhere. The men appear and begin beating everybody off the truck. Those too sick to walk have chains put on their feet and are dragged away. You live like this for days and then months. Every day you see your friends and family members being dragged away and you don't see them ever again. The only food you get are the ground up remains of the bodies of those who died there days or weeks earlier. You have no hope. No one has any hope. You're trapped in a stall so small you can't stand or turn around. One day you see a man dragging away your mother. He puts a chain on her left leg and hauls her up into the air right in front of you. He takes out a knife, pokes a hole in her throat, and all the blood begins to drain out of her body. You look into her eyes and she's wondering what in the world she did to deserve this. Another man appears and begins to cut off her skin. And she's conscious through all of this, but is in so much shock she can't even make a sound. And you're next. And then your friends and the rest of your family. Everyone around you. This is happening right now. It happens every day. And why? <laughs> For the most part, so that you could eat a hamburger.